In the annals of NBA history, few teams have captivated the basketball world quite like the Chicago Bulls of the 1990s. Their dominance wasn't just a story of wins and championships, it was a saga of iconic players, masterful coaching, and a fierce will to win. Over the course of a decade, the Bulls built a dynasty that would define an era of basketball and leave a lasting imprint on the sport forever. The Chicago Bulls, prior to their dominance in the 90s, were a middling franchise struggling to find their identity. Their fortunes changed on June 19, 1984, when the team selected Michael Jordan with the third overall pick in the NBA draft. Jordan was a young guard from the University of North Carolina, known for his athleticism and fierce competitiveness. However, few could have predicted that this rookie would soon become the centerpiece of one of the greatest dynasties in sports history. Jordan immediately made an impact in his rookie season, averaging 28.2 points per game and winning the NBA Rookie of the Year award. His dazzling play electrified Chicago and the league, but it wasn't enough to push the Bulls into true contention. The late 1980s saw the team struggling in the playoffs, consistently running into roadblocks like the Boston Celtics and the bad boy Detroit Pistons. The Pistons, with their bruising, physical style, created a blueprint on how to contain Jordan. The Jordan rules were designed to neutralize his explosiveness, wearing him down with double teams and hard fouls. It became clear that if the Bulls were going to overcome these playoff obstacles, they needed more than just individual brilliance. They needed a complete team. In 1989, the Bulls' fortunes shifted again, this time on the sidelines. Phil Jackson, a former player known for his zen-like approach to coaching, was promoted to head coach. Jackson introduced the triangle offense, a system that emphasized ball movement, spacing, and team play over isolation basketball. This offensive philosophy required every player on the floor to be involved, helping elevate the roles of Jordan's supporting cast. With Jackson at the helm and Jordan leading the charge, the Bulls were poised to make the leap from playoff contenders to championship threats. The key to this transformation was the emergence of forward Scottie Pippen. Drafted in 1987, Pippen's versatile skill set as a scorer, playmaker, and elite defender made him the perfect complement to Jordan. Pippen's ability to guard multiple positions and facilitate the offense took pressure off Jordan and made the Bulls a more balanced team. The First Championship The 1990-1991 season marked the beginning of something special. After years of frustration, the Bulls finally broke through, defeating their nemesis, the Detroit Pistons, in the Eastern Conference Finals. The Pistons had swept the Bulls the previous year, but in 1991, Chicago dismantled Detroit in a 4-0 sweep, signaling the end of the Pistons' reign and the start of a new era. In the NBA Finals, the Bulls faced Magic Johnson and the Los Angeles Lakers. This was Jordan's first trip to the Finals, but he played like a seasoned champion, averaging 31.2 points, 11.4 assists, and 6.6 rebounds per game. The Bulls won the series in five games, capturing their first ever NBA title. Jordan's mid-air switch hand layup in Game 2 became one of the most iconic moments in NBA history, a symbol of his creativity and athleticism. He was named Finals MVP, solidifying his place as the game's top player. The Bulls were far from finished. The following season, Chicago built on its success, finishing with a 67-15 record, the best in franchise history at the time. In the playoffs, they steamrolled through the competition, culminating in a finals matchup against Clyde Drexler and the Portland Trailblazers. The Bulls won in six games with Jordan's 35 points in the first half of Game 1, capped by his iconic shrug after hitting his sixth three-pointer, becoming legendary. Back-to-back -back titles weren't enough for Jordan or the Bulls. In 1993, they pursued history by becoming just the third team in NBA history to win three consecutive championships. In the 1993 Finals, the Bulls faced Charles Barkley and the Phoenix Suns. Barkley, the league's MVP, couldn't stop Jordan, who averaged an astonishing 41 points per game in the series, still an NBA Finals record. The Bulls clinched their third title in Game 6 on a game-winning shot by John Paxson and a critical defensive stop by Horace Grant. Without Jordan, for Jordan, the Bulls still it was another Finals MVP. Thanks to Pippen's emergence as the team's leaders. leaders. 
but they the Bulls could were now reclaim dynasty. the throne. But this dominance in 1994, came at a cost. the Bulls lost a heartbreaking seven game series to the New York Knicks in the second round of the playoffs. The team was missing that killer instinct, that clutch play Jordan had always provided. In March 1995, the basketball world was stunned once again when Jordan announced his return with a simple two word fax I'm back. Jordan's return was a sensation, but the Bulls fell short in the 1995 playoffs, losing to the Orlando Magic in the Eastern Conference semifinals. But that failure only fueled Jordan's drive. The 1995-1996 season saw the Bulls assemble one of the greatest teams in NBA history. The addition of rebounding machine and defensive stalwart Dennis Rodman, along with the maturation of Pippen and the continued brilliance of Jordan, resulted in a record-breaking 72-10 and 10 season. In the 1996 Finals, the Bulls faced the Seattle Supersonics, and despite a tough challenge, Chicago won the series in six games. Jordan's fourth title was especially emotional, as it was his first since his father's death. He famously collapsed on the locker room floor, clutching the Larry O'Brien trophy, tears streaming down his face. The Bulls weren't done yet. They won two more championships in 1997 and 1998, defeating the Utah Jazz in both finals. Jordan's flu game in Game 5 of the 1997 finals, where he scored 38 points despite being severely ill, is one of the most iconic performances in sports history. In 1998, with the dynasty on the line, Jordan delivered once again. In Game 6, with the Bulls trailing late in the fourth quarter, Jordan stole the ball from Karl Malone and hit the series-winning jumper over Brian Russell, securing Chicago's sixth title in eight years. Despite the success, internal friction between Coach Phil Jackson and the Bulls' front office, particularly general manager Jerry Krause, led to the dissolution of the dynasty. After the 1998 season, Jackson left the team, Jordan retired for a second time, and Pippen and Rodman were traded. The Bulls entered a rebuilding phase and the dynasty that had captivated the world came to a close. The Chicago Bulls of the 1990s weren't just champions, they were a global phenomenon. Led by the incomparable Michael Jordan, this team redefined what it meant to be great, leaving behind a legacy that continues to inspire and awe basketball fans around the world. Six titles, countless unforgettable moments, and a dynasty for the ages. The Chicago Bulls reign will never be forgotten.